Hello students. Today I will explain the vernier caliper. The vernier caliper or the slide caliper is a very basic instrument of the physics laboratory. So without knowing the vernier caliper, you cannot do any other experiment. So let's start the vernier caliper. So in vernier caliper instrument, you know there are two types of scale. One is main scale. This is the lower portion. It's, that is the main scale. And another one. is the vernier scale see there is a very small portion in the vernier this is called vernier scale okay so see in the vernier scale you count there are 11 division so first one the zero there are another 10 division so total is 11 division now if we close the vernier caliper i mean two jaws there is two jaws when these two jaws are closed you can see the 10 division of vernier scale is coincide with 9 division of main scale okay when two vernier are closed so suppose of 10 division equals to 9 division of main scale then one vernier scale division equals to 9 by 10 division of main scale right now first we have to calculate the vernier constant of this vernier caliper now the question is the vernier constant how we have to calculate the vernier constant the vernier constant means that is vc the formula to determine the vernier constant is it is one main scale division minus one vernier scale division okay multiplied with the small division of main scale that is the formula small division of main scale now the question is the one main scale division means one and one vernier scale that is means this 9 by 10 one vernier scale equals to 9 by 10 so i have to put one minus 9 by 10 into that is the small division of main scale now we have to find out the small division of main scale in the vernier small division means the one smallest division in the main scale suppose in the small division in the main scale is 0.1 cm maybe but it is not 0.1 for all the instrument it may vary from instrument to instrument so we have to check what is the value of one small division in the main scale right now 1 minus 9 by 10 that means 1 by 10 Again, multiply with the point one for this particular this type of vernier. So one by ten means point one. Again, multiply with point one, which comes to point zero one centimeter. This is the vernier constant of this vernier caliper. So this is your first job to calculate the vernier constant. Now the next part, the observation part. The observation part means we have to measure. Anything that is the diameter of any rod or any small object, the thickness of the object, anything you can measure with this vernier caliper. So there are two lower jaws. These two lower jaws, you have to measure the, I mean the thickness or the diameter of any rod or any certain object. And there are two jaws in the upper side. In the upper two jaws, we have to use the inner diameter of a maybe hollow cylinder. And these two lower two jaws, the Is that the diameter of the external diameter of a hollow cylinder? And in the small portion, in the back side, in the back side of the vernier caliper, there is a small portion. So using that small metal rod or any object, we have to use this small portion for measuring the depth of any cylinder or like this. Okay. Now the observation part. we have to put your object between these two jaws suppose i have to put any rod or anything pen like this the very small object between two jaws like this we have to put this your object between these two jaws okay now we have to observe the reading in the main scale as well as vernier scale so main scale reading first we have to calculate that is msr main scale reading Main scale reading means in the vernier scale where the first mark is zero, so we have to calculate the zero of the vernier is coincide or is crossed which mark of the main scale. I repeat, the zero of the vernier is coincide 
or is crossed which mark of the main scale suppose in our scale maybe the zero of the one year is coincide say 1.2 so i have to write the main scale reading is 1.2 cm okay now the next that is one year reading so one year reading except that zero mark there is another 10 division in the one year scale okay so out of 10 which mark is coincide to any mark of the main scale so we have to find out which mark is coinciding to any mark any certain mark of the main scale suppose out of 10 3 4 5 any value it may coincide so we have to find out that number from the one year scale suppose say 5 is coinciding then your one year reading is 5 okay now we have to calculate the total scale reading that is TSR so TSR means we have to calculate main scale reading plus one year reading multiplied with one year constant okay now the main scale is 1.2 already know plus one year is 5 multiplied with one year constant this is 0 0.01 so it becomes 1.25 centimeter that is your entire value of the, uh, the thickness or diameter what will be your object okay now i am explaining the zero error of the one year caliper each and every one year calipers may have some zero error either may be positive or may be negative so we have to calculate that zero error okay so see for calculating the zero error first you have to close your one year calipers close means the two jaws of this one year to coincide each other when these two jaws are coincide to each other you can see the one year zero as well as the main scale zero are coinciding like this if i can draw like this that is the zero of the one year and the zero of the main scale okay will be coinciding this is your one year scale and the upper portion may be in the main scale so if the zero of the one year is coinciding zero of the main scale that means there is no error so no need to calculate the zero error but if it is not like this if zero of the one year is not coinciding the zero of the main scale that means you have to calculate some error so suppose zero of the one year is the right side of the zero of the main scale like this the zero of the one year is just right side the zero of the main scale that means it will be positive zero error okay so when the zero of the one year in the right side it is positive and then we have to start counting from the left hand side of the one year scale from the left hand side one two three four like this so out of 10 division in the one year which number is coinciding to any mark of the main scale that number suppose say five is coinciding so five that number into one year constant that will be your, your positive error okay in that case but if zero of the one year is the left side of the zero of the main scale like this suppose this is your main scale zero and the one year scale zero is like this so if the zero of the one year is the left side then it will be negative zero error okay so when it is the negative that condition we have to start counting from right side of the one year scale from the right side from the right one two three four like this again out of ten which number is coinciding to any mark of the main scale from the right side that number say four is coinciding so your error will be four into one year constant and your error will be minus so keep in your mind if the zero of the one year is right side it will be positive error when you start counting from left side okay and if zero of the one year is the left side of the main scale zero it will be negative error when you start counting from the right side and that number which is coinciding into one year constant that will be your error so you have to calculate your total observed reading with this error and you will get the correct value okay now see this is the actual one year calipers okay 
I will explain the vernier calipers with this help of the real vernier calipers. See, this is two jaws, the lower jaws, and these two are upper jaws. Okay, and there is a scale in the lower scale and the upper scale. The lower scale is in the centimeter. Okay, so we have to consider the centimeter one, and there is a slider. If you hold it and rotate this slider, it will move to and fro. Okay, so see. In the scale, it's visible. It is the main scale. Okay, it's the main scale, and uh, the lower portion there is a small portion, and this is the vernier scale. See, there in the vernier scale there are divisions. I have already explained that eleven division. The first one is the zero, and then another ten division. Right. So you already calculate the vernier constant first, then the observation. So calculating the vernier constant. you just hold your one ear and close these two jaws see when these two jaws are closed the zero of the one ear is coinciding with zero of the main scale right and 10 division of the one ear is coinciding nine of the main scale so i have already explained that 10 of one ear coinciding nine of main scale right and the formula already given that is one main scale minus one one ear scale multiplied with the small division See the small division means the one smallest division in the main scale. Now the it is visible the smallest division in the main scale is one millimeter or point one centimeter. So you can calculate the one year constant using that formula that is one main scale minus one one year scale multiplied the small division of the main scale. Okay. Now the observation part. So whatever you have to observe, I have an object that is the chalk. so i have to calculate the diameter of this jaw okay so you have to put your object between these two jaws and hold it properly and just slide the calipers now see i have hold this jaw between these two jaws and we have to calculate the diameter of the jaw see in the main scale the zero of the vernier we have to check the position of the zero of the one year see the zero of the one year is coinciding it may be 1.1 or 1 so zero of the one year is crossed which mark of the main scale that will be your main scale reading okay and after that 10 division in the one year so out of 10 which number is coinciding to any mark of the main scale that will be your one year so here may be 5 is coinciding so your one year is 5 So main scale is 1.1, and the one year is 5, and the total reading will be 1.1 plus one year 5 multiplied with one year constant, 0.01 in this case. So you will get your total value will be 1.15 centimeter. Okay. 